Hey guys, welcome back to my awkward channel. So today we're going to be doing a video where I show you what's inside my suitcase. You're welcome. If you're wondering why I'm wearing so much, it's because it's freezing cold right now in Australia. It's winter. Don't judge. So many of you have asked me before what flute I play. I play a Muramatsu DS model. But yeah, so my flute came with this flute case, as you can see here. It's a waterproof material. I've manhandled this so much, but it's still in really good condition. But I've had it for like 10 years. It has like a short strap here that you can carry like this, which I never actually do. I never use it this way. I feel like it's really awkward, but it's good to have there anyway, because you never know when you might just want to, you know, go shopping. <laughs> okay, um, but yeah, also comes with this longer strap here which is what I use more often it is adjustable so you can make it longer or shorter and yeah I usually just carry it on my shoulder or sometimes if I'm carrying a lot of things I carry it over my shoulder but it's a little bit short for doing that so I don't I don't do it very often but yeah I actually prefer the one strap as to the ones that have two straps where you carry it like a backpack I feel like that's quite awkward but that's just that's just me one of the best parts of this case is my little talking Gouda Tama which is getting a bit dirty but uh, he just chills on my flute like this and he talks But yeah, um, I've had this Gotama, I don't know, for like maybe three years? It still talks, so I'm pretty impressed at how long it's lasted. I'm pretty sure I got this from somewhere in Japan, possibly the Gotama shop in Ikebukuro. I think it was there. But yeah, moving on, the front part of the case has a little pocket that unzips all the way. And I put like small accessories inside like these days I don't as much anymore but I used to put like bobby pins and hair ties <laughs> in here because you never know girls gonna need a bobby pin or a hair tie right I also have this little pouch here that I keep inside it's got the little plugs that is used for filling up the flute holes you do a makeup thing here, is that how you do it? But yeah, these go on my flute holes. I'll show you what I mean. So as you can see, my flute comes with open holes. Um, but they do have like the little, I don't know what material this is exactly, but it, it's the little plug that goes in here to cover it. Like that. And these are really good because if you're just starting out with an open hole flute, you can start out with having these in first and then slowly get used to them. So it's it's really quite convenient. I just stuff it in here and it's just just sits in there. Um, I also have a pencil that I carry around with me. This is a pacer. It's not just a pencil. It's a pacer. And it's not just normal pacer. It's a Totoro pacer. So if you can see. It's pretty awesome. Guaranteed the most coolest person at band camp. So it opens like this. Oh yeah, and the inside is really nice. Like I'm pretty sure this is like fake fur or something. I have like a spare handkerchief that I wipe my flute with. This one I bought from the Muramatsu shop. It didn't come with the flute. I had a different one that came with the flute, but I bought this one because it was really nice. This is made so that it inserts really easily. And you can just leave it on the stick here. It's really convenient. 
and it works really well and it looks really nice too so I love this I carry this with me inside the case and then this is the polishing cloth that came with the flute. It has the Ramatsu flute logo on the top corner here. Let's focus. Focus. There we go. And one of the most important things I do is I keep some facial absorbent paper. I use these for the keys. Uh, so a lot of people use cigarette paper, but I find these actually more easier to use because it absorbs more moisture and it's a lot cheaper as well and for you girls out there you can use it for your face as well so two in one like why not right but yeah i love these and i always have a packet in my foot case or i have two and the case itself is like a really nice leather i'm not exactly sure what material it is i never really ask but it has a ramatsu logo right here and it opens up like this So yeah, that's about everything. Hope you enjoyed this a warranted video. <laughs> um, if you have any questions for me, feel free to comment below. Or I might also be doing a live stream soon, so I'd love to answer your questions there as well. I'll see you guys next time. Jane.